Search and rescue operation are still ongoing at St. Academy Secondary School where a two-story building collapsed, trapping an unspecified number of students. The building collapsed earlier today when students were writing their examinations. Senior reporter Punam Joshua has updated on the story. A two-story building, primary and secondary school, just collapsed this morning here in just the Plateau State capital. As you can see, residents from different parts of the state are out to see if they can rescue some of the students that are trapped inside this building. The reason behind this development is yet to be ascertained at the moment. Residents of Busabuji community in just not local government area of Plato State are still in a shock and sober mood following the collapse of this building. Members of the community were going about their morning activities when the sound of the building collapsing took them unaware. Security operatives from the Nigerian police, army and civil defense alongside officials of the National Emergency Management Agency are here searching for survivors. Few hours ago, some trapped victims were rescued with various degrees of injury and taken to the hospital for medical attention. These are the accounts of some eyewitnesses. I had my child is here, so I was coming in as I saw smoke, the kind of milky smoke. So I was wondering if the school has started using gas. So I started running in. When I, when I was at the block industry and I discovered that it was a collapse uh, issue, I started crying because my child is here. I started crying, pleading God, asking him for mercy. Actually, I was in the house when my, my, my second son called me that my daughter's school has collapsed. I started running. From U-Town, I ran down to this place because I was confused. Coming here to see what happened here, it was devastating. I cannot control myself. Fortunately, my daughter is in SS2A and her class is off from the offices. The population of this school is too much and is the best school so far. But the way of destruction of the building, that is what collapsed this building. I thank God my daughter came out of life. She said immediately she came out here to ease herself. Coming out from the toilet, she saw the building starting shaking. Like I said, eight week was affecting the school. And the student trapped there now are the classmates of my daughter being trapped inside here. I think they are more than 30. Here you are seeing here now is JS1, JS2, SS1 and some classes, more than three to four classes. Here. Residents are now being encouraged to donate blood to survivors in critical condition who are fighting for their lives. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss. Phnom joins me now for more updates on this development. Do we know specifically the number of people still tra strapped, um, um, still trapped in the building and if there are any casualties, Phnom? The Commissioner of Information a while ago, uh, while briefing journalists, confirmed that 120 uh, students were trapped inside the building at that time, though the rescue operation is still ongoing at the moment. But then that is the uh, details of the victims trapped inside that uh, building. What about uh, if there are any casualties from the incident? Well, there are unconfirmed uh, reports from within the town. Some eyewitnesses that saw uh, the deceased uh, victims of that, they said around about 11 uh, people lost their lives in the unfortunate uh, building collapse. And then over 70, you know, uh, sustained various degrees of injury. So that is the details of the casualty at the moment. All right, so well, I, I'm just told that the commissioner um, is also standing by for more updates as regards what's happening in Plateau State. Let's talk to the commissioner for information, um, Musa Ashams. Mr. Ashams, very sad story. How much of help um, is the rescue operation you. getting as we speak? The footage we have shows a lot a number of people surrounding the site of the collapse. What's happening currently as we speak? Mr. Hashams? Um, it's quite, yes, it's quite unfortunate that um, we had um, this school collapsing on our children and their teachers. As at the time I had an interview with Finom, we had about 70, but the number has escalated. 
in all, we have about 154 people that were involved, and we've recorded 22 deaths, and we have 132 in different hospitals, like the Bingham University Teaching Hospital, Our Lady of Apostle Hospital, the Plateau State Specialist Hospital, and the Joss University Teaching Hospital, where cases that are severe were re referred to. So it's quite unfortunate that um, we had to go through this lane. You know, the children on their own observed yesterday, we were told reliably that the building was shaking and they drew the attention of the school owners and their parents. But some of them thought that the children were lazy and they didn't want to go to school. And today we have this um, bad situation. So it's quite a pity that we went, that we had to go through this route. I'm just coming from the Joss University Teaching Hospital where we have um, six critical cases. And, um, you know, these are children and their teachers. And um, it's quite disheartening and unfortunate. 22 dead. A very sad development, uh, Commissioner. Can you tell the number of students and staff still trapped in the building? There is no one that is trapped for now because the evacuation is um, over. Like... Well, it seems we've temporarily lost connection with Musa Ashams, who is Commissioner for Reinformation. We're going to attempt to reconnect with him for more updates as to the development in Jazz. Mr. Ashams, you were saying that the rescue operation has now ended and there is no one trapped in the building, right? Yes. There's no one, there's no one trapped in the building so far. The State Emergency Management Agency, the National Emergency Well, it seems as we can confirm that 22 people uh, died from the building collapse. He mentioned that it's just coming from the hospital. What about six other uh, in critical condition? We're following that story closely yes, as to get more details. Mr. Ashams, um, can you tell us more about the condition of those you visited in the hospital? How are they faring? We'll get back to that subsequently. Let's turn now to the national.